Advanced technology has allowed us to save memories and data digitally. For quite some time now. Advanced technology has allowed us to save memories and... ...data digitally for quite some time now. Had this been possible centuries ago, we would have gained a lot. Although this seems impossible to fix, fortunately there is a way around. Hi, my name is Tarek, and today we're going to take you through a concept that has been going through my mind for several years. Computers and computer files have no concept or awareness of when or where they were created. Of course, someone would argue that files have date and time stamps stored within their structure, but that's only based on a time we set the computer to artificially, if you will. So whether we create or store the file now, 5000 BC or 1000 years later, it's going to have the exact same basic structure. Everyone these days knows computer files of any kind. Word, Excel, photo, video. All of them are stored as an array of zeros and ones. Of course, the file size is measured in bits and bytes. So we can have a one byte file and a one gigabyte file. Let's take an example of a one byte file. A one byte file has eight bits in it. And every bit is either zero or one. The question now is how many unique one byte file can we create? The answer is two to the power eight. Two which is either zero or one, and eight is the number of digits we have to fill. And that's 256 files, that's it. Now whether this file was created 5000 BC now, or even years from now on Mars, we can only have 256 unique one byte files. Nothing more. Now let's raise the stakes a little. How many 50 kilobyte files can we have? The answer is a very large number that we don't even have a name for. But it has 123,302 digits. To make things easier, let's call this number a 50. That's how many 50 kilobytes we can ever have, no matter when or where. We are talking about all the 50 kilobyte files that can be created in a universe lifetime. To be precise, we are talking about all the 50 kilobyte files that can be created in any possible or not possible universe lifetime. Whether you believe in parallel universes or not, whether they do exist or not, the fact is we can only have 50 50 kilobyte files. Now what can those 50 files be? Simply they are all 50 kilobyte photos, word, compressed files, videos, and of course all 50 kilobyte rubbish files. Imagine having all those files somewhere and you were given the opportunity to pull some files. Would you be willing to pull some files and check them? This is going to be our project. We are going to start generating random files and share them with the world. We're going to start a new age of mining, digital mining. We are looking for any files that make sense. This could be a representation of the past, present, or even the future. Images that could represent another planet or another galaxy or even another universe. We're targeting the entire world, anyone with internet access, with any kind of interest, people from all ages. We want to reach people through their deep desire for knowledge. We are adding another avenue to the arsenal of old age human activity of mining. We are bringing about a new era of digital mining, and we need your help to excavate all valuable files. This is a team activity, and we need all the help we can get. So if we manage to tackle